all right guys here is question eight now let's have a look at this one it's based on the chapter of measurements it says that the diagram below represent an opened box so basically they are saying to us on the top here it's opened so we don't have to calculate anything that has to do with the top and then uh, with a square base uh, described by the x so this is a square okay which will help us a lot and then the height of uh, uh, written as a uh, h in centimeters and then the tank has a volume of they already give us the volume okay <clears throat> now let's go ahead and they also give us a formula how nice of them giving us a formula here let's go 8.1 8.1 says the height determine the height of the tank in terms of x so 8.1 we need to determine the height in terms of x so if we're given the volume volume would have to be equal to area of a base area of a base which is this one here area of a base what is the area of a square is going to be side times by the side okay you know the area of a base and then they also said multiply by height what is our height our height is just going to be h right so therefore it means that h is going to be x squared h and we already know they gave us the volume there the volume is 490 so we're gonna come here substitute 490 is equal to x squared h so they said we need to determine h here in terms of x so we're gonna divide both sides by x squared both sides by x squared therefore h therefore h h is equal to 490 all over x squared okay and you can leave it there and it does uh, look like h in terms of that so let's move on to 8.2 8.2 says here yeah, how show that area the external surface of the tank can be given by that by a it's equals to x squared plus one nine six zero all over x squared in centimeter squared okay so now what is the surface area you need to come here and say surface area of the tank is going to be given by i think we should start with a base so this is our base here so our base is a square so what is the area of this base is going to be what x times x refers to the area so it's going to be x times x it's our area plus okay how many we have got this sides here that are rectangular side so the area of a rectangular what is a height times base so it's going to be x uh, times h however in this case guys how many of this size do we have that are equal we've got side number one which is this side we have got side number two and then we have got this number three here and when we have got number four which is the one facing us this side so this is will be number four so we've got one two three four sides think of it as a box guys think of it as a box so if you have got four sides that are equal and they also have got a x and a height there i've got an x and a height there and as well okay even on the fourth one so therefore we have got four sides of them all right so therefore this would give us x squared is equal to 4x h but however remember guys they said we must make it look like this what is missing h can we have been we did at 8.1 that h is equal to that so therefore we can substitute h here 4x and then h was what was 490 all over x squared close bracket now we need to simplify further 2 plus when you multiply that 4 times 4 90 is going to give us 1960 x cancel out you're left with 1x at the bottom and then there you go we're left with 1x here then it will be centimeter squared and therefore that will give you your surface area so you have successfully proven that it is equal to that right 
so okay now let's move on to eight eight point three eight point three guys let's go ahead do eight point three with a different color sometimes i forget to change the colors but not a train smash eight point three 8.3 says if given that height is h is equals to 10 centimeter calculate the external surface of the surface area of the tank all right so now we need to calculate x first so that we are able to get this so remember initially from 8.1 we said h is equals to what 490 all over x squared so now they've given us h as 10 so we need to find x here therefore we can cross multiply if you cross multiply you're going to have x squared 10 is equals to x squared 10 is equals to it's equals to 490 divided by 10 divided by 10. so it's divided by 10 therefore you're going to have x squared is equals to 49 if you take a square root of both sides square root therefore x is equals to 7 right so now uh, if x is equals to 7 you can come and put x here onto our surface area which was given by x squared plus a uh, 9x0 from the previous question so therefore 7 squared plus one nine six zero all over seven we punch this into our calculator let's see what we're gonna get here mm, okay let me see i'm getting three two nine three two nine you guys let me know what you got on the comment section below if you got the same answer then give this video a huge thumbs up if you got a different answer let me know on the comment section below but please guys study the diagram the way it is measurements simple and straightforward if you understand the basics of the shape and also the formulas and how to change them if they say open or closed tank or they say open box or without the size things like that you need to be careful about all right so i am gustin mapala let me see you on the next upload we will be doing question nine i know that you are waiting for question nine because question nine is going to be on euclidean geometry Click on the link right here on the right hand side and it will take you to Euclidean geometry. See you there.